28 Just for the English folk and a mum's a man away Who delves the coal and the iron ore and shapes the potter's clay The day continues to look gloomy as Brexit approaches, and the capital is very quiet leading up to it. The Prime Minister is preparing for a no-deal Brexit at the moment and hasn't been seen outside of number 10 for the past three days. The government are aware of the dangers that this poses and they're trying to find ways to prevent chaos. The Prime Minister is an advocate of no-deal and insists that this is fear-mongering and that all will be fine. Welcome everybody in the two teams are now walking out under the floodlights at Stamford Bridge. Chelsea lead the group on goal difference, Ajax are level with them on 6 points. Chelsea under Frank Lampard have won 8 wins on the bounce, the longest in his managerial career. A chance to make it 9 wins on the bounce, however Ajax are a tough team getting to the semi-finals from last season. Chelsea beat this team 1-0 in the Johan Cruyff Arena with an 85th minute goal from Mishi Batshuayi. Can they do it again and secure their place in the knockout stages of the Champions League? We'll find out. It's into Ziyech and he rolls it past the keeper. Scintillating play from Moroccan yet again, his second of the game. And inside 20 minutes it's Chelsea 1, Ajax 4. Surely we're on course for one of the biggest results in Chelsea. We have had breaking news that Stamford Bridge has been bombed by anti-Brexit groups during a Champions League game versus Ajax, killing approximately 32,000 people and injuring thousands more. The stadium is in ruins and sections have collapsed. These groups have claimed responsibility for both attacks, with one happening on the London Underground half an hour ago. Transport for London services have shut down until further notice, and the M25 has come to a standstill due to the extra commuters and transport. Airline chaos is expected and Heathrow is already experiencing massive overcrowding. The death toll from yesterday's attacks is 32,201, with 32,145 dying at Stamford Bridge and 55 in the underground. Come 
We have breaking news that two planes have collided above Hounslow. Fire and medical services are on their way and massive fires have broken out in the area. The fire is widespread across the whole Hounslow area and emergency services will take longer as major roads are currently gridlocked. We will now be speaking to Ben Morris via phone, Ben, give us an account of what actually occurred. Well I was in my house and I heard the sub bang, and my neighbor came knocking on my door and we all rushed out. I remember this rush of heat and there was this massive fire at the end of the road. And all I could see was an orange glow and fumes of smoke in, in the horizon. And what's happening now? There's a strong smell of plane fuel in the air and loads of buildings are still on fire here. Tons of fire trucks and ambulances are on the streets and family are and families crying. I saw this one I saw this one last just crying because your little boy, about like about eight, was old, was completely burned on the left side of his road with his body. He seems close light to lights out. It's really emotional right now, even now. This fire is everywhere. Whatever is here, it must be a terrorist attacker and an accident. This is unacceptable. I'm lucky. My boys are safe and sound, but others not so lucky. The fires go across Hounslow for miles. The fire brigade can't contain it. What do we do then? Surely we can't sit here and let it all happen. We're gonna have to send our emergency services over. But that means closing the airport. There are still 40 odd planes in the air. They may not have anywhere to land. The planes might not have anywhere to land anyway. The place is packed and most flights have been cancelled. They're gonna have to divert to other areas. We can't let a massive fire burn right on our doorstep and do nothing. This is an emergency message. Ensure the device this message is playing on is audible and activate Wi-Fi or cellular data. Emergency information will be sent to mobile and tablet devices. Major chaos has erupted in the Greater London area. After the attack in the London Underground and in Stamford Bridge yesterday, all transport for London services were shut down today. This meant there were extra commuters, leading to major traffic jams and gridlock particularly on the M25. Anti-Brexit groups bombed the three main roads leading to Heathrow, trapping everyone inside and meaning no traffic could get in. This led to disaster as no workers could get in. As ATC workers can only work limited hours, they made a fatal error with two planes colliding over Hounslow, spraying the area in jet fuel and leading to massive fires. With the M25 gridlocked, Emergency services were forced to use major roads and a lack of communication meant that the situation looked longer to be resolved. Even now, much of Hounslow is still burning and the death toll is not yet known. With these fires around, Heathrow emergency services were deployed to the scene, and Heathrow was shut indefinitely. The 42 planes in the air were diverted to Gatwick, but with a poor economy, fuel reserves were not sufficient and these planes plummeted to the ground.
Many areas of Greater London are burning, with one plane crashing only a mile east of Gatwick. Emergency services have headed to the scene but a closure will not occur. With 37 of the 42 planes falling to the ground, emergency services are stretched and these fires may burn for many hours. You are advised to vacate these areas as emergency services may not be able to get there. If any civilians are injured, you are advised to take these people to a local hospital as emergency services may not get there in time. Organize for the person with the largest vehicle to take the wounded to a hospital. Use minor roads as major ones will likely be gridlocked or very busy at the least. Do not waste time trying to put out fires. Jet fuel fires of this magnitude will not be extinguished with water or other household materials and it is safer to simply evacuate to safety. If this message reaches the other five planes still in the air, you are to land the plane on any suitable land so as to prevent more plane crashes. The UK government have contacted the EU to inform them that UK airspace is closed until further notice and any planes spotted entering UK airspace will be shot down. More information will be relayed to you as we receive it. This is a tragic day in the history of the UK. May God have mercy on our souls. simply say this to the Prime Minister, if he always obeys the law, why was he found guilty by the Supreme Court? I, uh, thank you. Thank you, Mr Speaker. On, on, the, on the issue of... Order? No, I don't care. Remember, remember the 5th of November. Gunpowder, treason and plot. I know of no reason why gunpowder treason should ever be forgot. Guy Fox, Guy Fox, it was his intent to blow up the king and the parliament.